Public health is a big issue at large with the rising cases of COVID-19 and its repercussions. Regarding patients, there can be those who test positive, but among those are several different categories of which one can be asymptomatic. In this video, we clarify what it means to be an asymptomatic patient. The World Health Organization incited backlash from public health officials during a news conference when WHO's technical lead for the COVID-19 response said it's very rare for asymptomatic carriers of COVID-19 to spread the virus. The statement came after she said that in countries tracking asymptomatic cases, they're following contacts and they're not finding secondary transmission onward. A day later, the WHO backtracked and clarified the statement while noting that they actually don't have the answer yet regarding if and how often asymptomatic carriers of COVID-19 spread the virus. As of now, the actual rates of asymptomatic transmission are still yet unknown. However, it's safe to assume that asymptomatic carriers can spread the disease based on early and ongoing studies about the nature of COVID-19. What we do know, however, is that the best tactics to address the pandemic to help suppress transmission and lessen the rate of spread are more likely than symptomatic people to be on public conducting business as usual. They may transmit the virus to others, and so we must all stay careful. Through viral shedding, people can unknowingly release contagious viruses into the atmosphere even without ill intention. Viral shedding is when viral particles in the upper respiratory tract, specifically the nose and mouth, are released. Asymptomatic individuals carrying the SARS coronavirus 2 shed the virus longer than those with COVID-19 symptoms. In the case of COVID-19, this can be a serious threat because of the way this virus spreads. People who are unaware that they may have the virus may not stay home or take the necessary precautions. Hence, this makes mask mandates an important part of preventing its spread. Studies have revealed that even asymptomatic COVID-19 patients can, can contaminate their surroundings, potentially spreading the disease to healthcare workers, which includes surface samples near them testing positive. In the timeline of asymptomatic discovery, the WHO was unable to determine the number of asymptomatic cases as the actual rates in transmission were unknown. However, what we do know is that the best tactics to address the pandemic includes isolating cases, contact tracing, and quarantining contacts, as well as hand hygiene and respiratory etiquette to help suppress transmission. Among individuals exhibiting COVID-19 symptoms like behaviors, there are two categories of people in asymptomatic and presymptomatic individuals. Asymptomatic individuals are able to transmit the virus. These individuals can test positive for COVID-19, but show no active symptoms. There's a key difference between asymptomatic and presymptomatic patients. Presymptomatic patients will eventually develop symptoms, but aren't showing them yet as they don't feel or look sick at the time. Asymptomatic people test positive for the virus without ever showing any symptoms. Based on what's seen so far, asymptomatic people tend to be younger and not have other health issues. Though not all studies are perfect, a lot of evidence supports a true asymptomatic rate of around 30% of all people, according to the CDC. In addition, they tend to shed more viral particles than those who experience symptoms. Among asymptomatic people, their experiences might actually be known as posi-symptomatic, meaning their few symptoms are so mild they never suspect an infection. As of now, Scientists are continuing to expand on their understanding of what common mild symptoms are in order to identify people at a faster rate and help isolate people. A survey from the CDC reports that 54% of people who tested positive for COVID-19 couldn't recall how they got it. This indicates that the majority of people could have contracted COVID-19 from an asymptomatic person they've been in close contact with or from a symptomatic passerby. One study actually estimated that more than 40% of novel coronavirus cases were transmitted in the pre-symptomatic phase. And in a study that analyzed samples from sailors on the USS Theodore Roosevelt, about 20% of infected people reported that they never developed symptoms. On this Navy aircraft carrier, 94% of the crew has been tested for the virus, yielding 678 who tested positive and showing wildfire-like spread. Some people, in this case, the asymptomatic patients, have variations of the ACE2 genes that make them more susceptible to getting affected by COVID-19 spike protein or more prone to inflammation, scarring in their lungs, or narrowed blood vessels that make them sicker. Virus-specific IgG antibody titers and cytokine levels were also significantly lower among asymptomatic patients in the acute phase of infection, when viral RNA can be found in respir respiratory specimens, which indicates their immune responses aren't as strong. Plasma levels of cytokines were also similar between asymptomatic patients and healthy controls, though significantly higher levels of stem cell factor and leukemia inhibitory factor were found in the asymptomatic group, calling this a reduced inflammatory response characterized 
by low circulating concentrations of cytokines and chemokines. Following and treating these asymptomatic and presymptomatic individuals is quite difficult, however. One new study in Nature estimated that 87% of infections in Wuhan, China in the early days of the pandemic were missed because health officials didn't know about presymptomatic spread. A specific research study has revealed that even asymptomatic COVID-19 patients can contaminate their surroundings, potentially spreading the disease to healthcare workers. When sampling a wide variety of, of surfaces in the patient's room to test if the surface samples would test positive COVID-19, including their bedrolls and bedding, sinks and toilets, and room air, 44 of the 112 surface samples, or 39.3%, were found to be positive for the sars cov 2 virus. In addition, the rooms of the patients with symptoms ranging from none to mild were extensively contaminated. This is it for our video on asymptomatic patients. We hope this answered any questions and we hope you have a great rest of your day.